Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, the hard work that I've been putting in um, is really showing off. But, you know, I've been watching and seeing where I could fit in with the guys. And, you know, I know them from last year playing with them and starting all those games and playing all those minutes. I know, you know, where they like to be and how they like to play. Um, but just being there, uh, cheering them on and doing everything I can on the sideline has, uh, you know, helped me stay engaged and stay involved in, in the game. How difficult has the last week and a half been as a team? And from just an emotional perspective, how important is a night like tonight where you have a convincing win? It's tough. It's tough. Like even locker room, Malcolm was like, you know, those four losing games felt like 10. You know, we didn't know the last time we won. It was, and that's facts. You know, I don't really remember the last time we won. It feels like it was so long. Um, but I've, I'm happy that we were able to pull together and, and play together and play the way we were supposed to. Uh, we just got to keep it going. We got New York on Wednesday, so we just got to keep that going. Shea, three from three, three for three on threes tonight. I think the last one after you hit one, you like high five the fan or something. So where does that exuberance, that joy come from when you're just out there looking like you're having fun? Uh, you know, that's what gets me going, you know, seeing the fans uh, into it. Um, I love how they, you know, interact with us. Um, so that's just stuff that I do. That's just the way that I am. I like to be loud and, you know, show different things when I'm playing. Um, doesn't only get me going, but it gets the whole team going. Um, once you play, once you have fun, you know, we just don't want to be out there just going through the motions. Um, you know, this is a game. We want to have fun. We want to be ourselves. So that's how I am. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And then uh, Rick talked about how role players in the NBA have to stay ready. And, and a lot of you guys have said that. But for someone who isn't experiencing that, how difficult is it, you know, when you love the game, you want to play, you believe you're good enough to play, and you're not playing every night to just, again, stay ready? Um, you know, this is something that coaches talk to me about before the season even started, you know, he told me from the jump, there's going to be games where you get a couple minutes, games where you don't play, games where you play a lot. Um, but, you know, the person that you are, I just need you to be ready because you could go in there and play any position. Um, so I kind of had that in the back of my head. Obviously, it's tough. You know, just like you said, I believe I could be out there. And I know I, I could be out there. Um, but my job on the team is to help any way I can, whether it's on the bench cheering the guys on, you know, getting waters, high fives, doing anything, or being out there, um, rebounding, scoring, defending, and just being myself. Rick's talked a lot about you coming in on off days, including Thanksgiving with Keelan, to, to get some work in. How much has that kind of helped you this season and helped you keep some confidence when you do get a night like tonight where you play a lot more? Yeah, it's helped a lot. It's helped a lot. Shout out to, you know, Malcolm. You know, we've had a long conversation before. And, you know, he told me when, when he was in this position in his rookie year, our second year, um, the thing that helped him the most was staying in the gym. And, you know, I strongly believe that just staying confident in, in my jump shot and, you know, the ball handling and different stuff, just staying focused on basketball um, has really helped me, um, you know, to where I could go out there and be confident and know that I can make shots and know that I can be myself. Um, so just that's, that's something I'm going to continue to do. I feel, you know, I feel better when, when I get in the gym and I go home and I'm able to rest on an off day or something. But, um, you know, being in the gym is something that is going to help anyone, and it's really helped me. O'Shea, TJ and Justin have brought so much life and energy from the second unit over the past few years. With them out is energy a void that you try and fill coming off the bench yeah i mean whether they're here or whether they're not here that's some that's how that's how i play that's who i am um coming and being loud and talking and moving around um interacting with the fans that's something that i like to do um but you know when those two are here it's obviously you know better because we have our full roster and those guys bring so much to the team um but that's that's who i am I'm just gonna continue to be that